Question number 74, it's from capacitor. You could see that these are two capacitors in parallel and that is finally in series and this unit and this unit is in parallel connected across an 8 volt supply. The magnitude of electric field due to a point charge Q. Now how much is that point charge Q? Sum of charges on 4 microfarad and 9 microfarad. So the first thing is we require to calculate the charge on this capacitor and this capacitor. We have to calculate that. So for that what we'll see is say this unit is entirely independent with 8 volt. So 9 and 3 is in parallel that's 12 and 12 and 4 in series. So that will be net 3 microfarad. So 3 microfarad and 8. So this charge here what would go is 24 micro coulomb. Q equals to CV that's quite simple. And when that 24 divides of course it has to divide in the ratio of 3 is to 1. That's how it goes because Q equals to CV. V is same. That's a very simple thing. 3 is to 1. That means 3 fourth. So 3 fourth of 24. That will be 18 microcoulomb. So here we've calculated the charge on 4 microfarad and 9 microfarad. Now let's try to add up the total charge and that would be 42 microcoulomb. That's a sum total of charge on this and this. Now the question is saying if this charge was there, how much would be the electric field at a distance 30 meter from it? The question is in that way because it says the magnitude of electric field due to a point charge Q and how much is the charge? Sum of this and this at a point distant 30 meter from it. So that's now very simple. Electric field would be equals to K Q by R square and on solving we'll exactly get this value 420 Newton per coulomb. So that was quite a simple stuff which was question number 74. Now we'll move to question number 75. Question number 75 is a simple factual question which says something like this. Arrange the following electromagnetic radiation per quantum. That means for one given quantum in the order of increasing energy. So one is blue light, yellow light, x-ray and the radio wave. Now energy is inversely proportional to lambda. So out of that you could see option number 4 would be the correct. The highest wavelength will have the lowest energy and the lowest wavelength will be having the highest energy. On top of that this are the wavelengths which are almost so familiar to us that we can easily arrange them in the order of increasing energy. So that finishes question number 75. We'll move to question number 76.